I, I think that that at, at this point, um, next era's um, claim that they will restart in twenty eight or twenty nine um, is um, just uh, intentions and hope at this point. Dwayne Arnold shut down in 2020 following the derecho, and a spokesperson from Next Era says reviving the plant with Google will help address the high demand for energy, economic growth, and job opportunities. The restart of the plant is going to have an economic impact, a positive economic impact to the state. We're estimating about $9 billion during the time of the construction at the plant and during operations. And of course, this is also going to bring jobs to the community about 400 high quality, high paying jobs in the Eastern Iowa area. Restarting a nuclear plant is unusual, but it's being done in Michigan. There, the Palisades nuclear plant shut down in 2022. And just last week, it became the first plant to reopen. That's another project the Sierra Club is working to stop. And Taylor says the energy needed to power these data centers that Google is planning to build can use other forms of energy. The carbon footprint of the entire process, you know, the uranium mining, the uh, transportation, the dealing with the nuclear waste, there is a lot of carbon involved. Next Era is involved in other forms of energy production, but Orlov says the reliability that the nuclear plant provides is what makes it vital. Solar or wind is reliant on other forces, the weather. Um, so to have a nuclear power plant that's able to produce a large amount of energy 24-7, all the time, no matter if the sun is shining or the wind is blowing, that is very attractive to companies like Google and communities who may be looking at large amounts of energies.